Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of the Paul Innocent Channel, and what it's like to really be an actor in Great Britain. What a strange time we're going through right now. This awful virus, known as a coronavirus, seems to have the world going crazy, and rightly so. I've read a prediction that 2020 was the year something like this would hit, but we do get through it. How do I know that? Because apparently we get it again a few years later. So mankind must get through this bout to receive the next lot. <laughs> so at least I know REM's record, the end of the world. As we know it, it may be number one, but it's not a truism, which is good to know. Anyway, I have nothing to report in terms of auditions because it's dead out there. I think every industry in the world has been hit by this fear of coronavirus, so it includes the acting industry. Films have been cancelled in terms of filming. shadily has gone down the pan. There's nothing we can do to prevent it. The whole flaming world's going through the whole flaming transition right now. Just remember that, alright? It's a humdinger. There's nothing we can flame and do about it. But I do say one thing. We can stick close by our loved ones. This is a time when we need to do that. Especially the elderly, mothers and fathers, the ones who were there for you when you were children. Very important. I know I love my mum beyond anything in the world. And she's up in her 80s right now. I'm sticking by her. And I suggest you all do the same. I know you will anyway. Anyway, let's get on to this week's weird news. Hey people, let's be careful out there, okay? <laughs> Domino's Pizza Driver film doing really down High Street's bus investigation. A pizza chain has launched an investigation after one of its drivers was caught on camera attempting a motorbike stunt before crashing in the road. The Domino's delivery driver was filmed trying to pull off a wheelie, driving the bike balanced just on his back wheel down Clapham High Street in South London. Footage of the manoeuvre surfaced after it was uploaded to Twitter and has since been retweeted thousands of times. In the background of the video, cheers can be heard as the driver wearing a black helmet shows off the stunt along the main road, putting both legs to one side at one point during the trick. The driver loses balance, toppling the bike over, leaving him sprawled out on the floor. Meanwhile, the cheering soon turns to howls of laughter as the bike falls to the right. A car behind the bike driver is forced to stop, as well as one coming in the opposite direction. Meanwhile, the bike driver quickly scrambles back on his bike and simply continues on his way. A Domino spokeswoman for the American owned company said the safety of the public and of our colleagues is of paramount importance. And this is totally unacceptable behavior. We've launched an investigation to find the driver concerned and take appropriate action. Twitter users commented on the videos, one saying, I hope the customer never received a squashed pizza. Another commented saying, that's why my pizza topping was normally all over the ship. But others praised the driver's stunt with one person commenting, this is Amazing! Give this man a pay rise, please! Another joke! Domino effect! Oh! What do you say? We do one more story like! Robbery! Gone wrong! Instant karma of off duty female cop from Brazil took care of business! A Habago robber made a fatal mistake in Brazil when he approached Tourist Inn for holiday resort, holding a loaded gun and pointing it at them. The 23-year-old man yelled in his native language, Pedro Toto, a Adanero, Agora, which in English or South African in my case, loosely translate to, give me all your money, now! As he starts physically searching a man, an off-duty female cop who happened to be loosely attached to the crowd reached into her handbag, pulled out her gun, and quickly shot a robber in his chest at close range. The robber then lied on the road, rolling around in agony. She 
later told journalists, I have simply acted on instinct. After I shot him, he seemed to say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm not resisting. I then put my foot on his back. I asked a passerby who was stopped to call the local police. Well, it, but I'm the one for you, and I watch this. A Batmobile in Russia towed away by police. Yet no insurance, huh? to say the least. A Batman fanatic who built a Batmobile from scratch in Russia discovered that to build one he intended to drive on the road incurred more than building the car. The 31-year-old Russian spent seven years accumulating all parts from across the world but forgot to legalize it with documents for the road. However, the fanatic was so besotted with the land of make-believe Batman that this completely slipped his mind. On his first journey out in the car, the fact that his eye-catching monstrosity caught everybody's eye certainly didn't come to pass. Namely when the police Golitsai spotted it. They pulled the fanatic over and asked him for his registration documents insurance certificate and driving license, none of which he owned. He was then immediately summoned to the police station. Meanwhile, the police who stopped the car waited for a tow truck to come along and take the monstrosity away to the impound. One of the policemen told journalists, even superheroes must abide by the rules of the road. And this homemade version of Dark Knight's car was not registered or even had required certification. What? Yeah.